So children, we learnt a lot of how to solve the questions using tally method, right? Now, the next thing which we are going to learn here is the pictogram. Yes, you heard it right. It is pictogram. So, what do you mean by the term pictogram? As the name, it refers picture, right? Picto means it refers to the picture. So, now here the data will be given to you in the form of the picture and based on those pictures, we need to find the findings and solve the questions. For example, say usually in picture, we will be denoting as one picture to some amount. Say for example, if I mention like this tree, okay, and I have to represent say 70 trees. So, it is not possible for me to draw 70 trees in a small piece of page, right? So, what I will do is in pictogram, I will write as showing a tree as it represents say 10 trees. Okay, so if I give you this information, it means that wherever you see this tree, means that one tree stands for 10 trees. So, in case of 70, what will I draw? I will draw only 7 trees because for me, one tree denotes as 10 numbers, right? So, how many have I drawn? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7, okay? Similarly, if I say I draw a star, okay, and I say that one star represents, say, 20 numbers, okay. So, if suppose one star represents 20 numbers and if I have to draw 100 stars, so how will I draw? I will draw only 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Because here, one star is representing 20 numbers. So, which means if I have to draw 100, it is easy for me to draw only 5 stars. Okay. So, here basically in pictogram, this picture will tell us how many numbers it is representing. And this particular information is called as your key detail. That is, it is telling us what is this picture actually symbolizing. So, this is given towards the end of your table. So, whenever you see a table, this information will be given to you at the bottom of the table. Okay. So, based on this key detail only, we need to do our finding. Similarly, you have something called as title detail. So, this title tells us the top heading that what is it talking all about. Clear? So, to make it more simpler, or to make it more clear, we will be doing an example and along with it, we will be finding out how to solve the question using a pictogram. Okay. So, now here I have a question for you. So, now here you need to find out the cloudy days in the month of July. Okay. So, this is called as my title heading. Now, I have given you the heading as cloudy days and I will be representing the cloud using this symbol. Okay. So, this will be my key detail. Okay. So, now I have here as number of weeks. Okay, and here I have number of days. One second, it's number of cloudy days. Okay, so I write here as week one. 
week two, week three, and week four. Okay, and here I will be drawing it using the symbol. So my key detail. Let me put you the key detail towards the end to make it more clear. Okay, so I will be using this cloud at the bottom of the table. So this represents cloudy days. Okay, and one cloud is equal to five. Okay, so which means that whenever see the symbol of a cloud, one cloud represent five days. So in week one, Okay, so here I am going to represent the number for my sake. So I will be writing here the number for my sake. Okay, so this is for my understanding to make it clear. So as I said that one clouds represent five days. So in week one I have one and two, so which means that five and Ten. So for me, the first one is ten. Okay. The second one says one, two, three, which is five, ten, and fifteen. Okay. The next one is only one, which means it is five. Okay. The next one says one, two, three, and four, which means it is five, ten, fifteen, and Twenty, and what is the total? Shall we count the total? It's five plus five here, ten. One plus one, two. Two plus one, three, and three plus two, five. So I have a total of fifty clouds, right, in the month of July. So my first question for you is, which week has Maximum clouds. So, can you tell me now which is which week is having maximum clouds? It's one, two, three, and four. So, I have week four. So, my week four is having maximum clouds. Okay. My second question for you is which week. Has very less clouds. So, can you see and tell me which week is having very less? Is it week one, week two, week three, or week four? Good. It is week three. So, week three is having less number of clouds. Okay. Now, your next question is. What is the difference between week one and week three? So, week one, how many clouds it is having? It's having ten clouds, and week three is having how many clouds? It is good. It is five. So, what is the difference? Ten minus five is five. So you have the difference of five clouds between week one and week three. So is this pattern clear, children? Are you clear with the pictogram format? Shall we do some more to understand it better? Okay. So can you see the question, children? Now, this is a table 
which shows about the cartoons that are liked by the children in general. Okay, and we have the cartoon serials like Tom and Jerry, Doraemon, Dora the Explorer, Chota Bim, and Krish. Okay, now here it tells us each smiley represents five children. So this is my key detail, and then my title is cartoon liked by the children. So are you clear? Are you ready for the questions? Okay. So here is your first question. How many children like Dora the Explorer? So as I said, here each smiley represents five children. Dora has how many smileys? One, two, three, four, and five. So we need to multiply five with five. Okay. So it will be five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and twenty-five. So how many children I have? I have twenty-five children who likes Dora the Explorer. Clear? So shall we go for the next question? Okay, so here is my next question. My next question says, which cartoon is enjoyed the least? Which is enjoyed the least? Tom and Jerry, I have one, two, three, and four, which means it is. Five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. I have twenty kids who like Tom and Jerry. So to make our work easier, shall we just write the number on top of it so that each time we don't have to count? Okay. So here it's five, ten, fifteen, and twenty. I have twenty kids who like Tom and Jerry. Okay. Next is one, two, three, which is five, ten, and fifteen. So. Fifteen kids likes Doraemon. Next is five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Twenty-five kids likes Dora. Okay. Next one is five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So twenty kids like Chota Bim. Okay. The last one is one, two, three, four, five, six, which is five, ten. Fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, and thirty. Okay, so now we have made our work simple. Okay, so we can just easily see the numbers and we can tell the answers. My question asks, which cartoon is enjoyed the least? So can you see and tell now? It is fifteen, which is Doraemon. So my answer will be Doraemon. Okay. Great. Tell me the next question. Which cartoon shares equal liking so What do you mean by this question? It means that which is a cartoon which is being liked equally. So is there any number which is repeated twice? Yes, twenty. We have twenty which is repeated twice, and which are those cartoon? It is Tom and Jerry and Chota Bean, right? So my answer will be Tom and Jerry. And Chota Bean. Okay. Tell me the next question's answer. Which cartoon has maximum liking? Which means that which is the cartoon that is loved by the kids the most? So see the figure and tell me. It is number thirty, and thirty is roll number twenty-one. Yes. So my answer will be. 
roll number 21 the chris okay and your last question is which cartoon shows neutral liking what do you mean by the term neutral children neutral means which is neither like too much nor it is dislike too much so which is like okay 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 so how we will find the neutral is we will find the neutral by seeing the table by taking the maximum and the minimum okay so my maximum in this case is 30 right and my minimum is 25 so this is i'm um, sorry minimum is 15 okay so this is the one which is liked by the kids the most and doremon is something which is liked minimum so the middle ones are the cartoons which is being liked neutral so my answer will be tom and jerry then you have jora the explorer and the last one is chota bhi okay so apart from the one which is being likes the most and the minimum the remaining cartoons are being liked in the neutral way meaning kids neither like it too much nor they dislike too much so is it clear